Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of ninth problem from exercise 13.3 from NCRT from surface areas and volumes class 10. A former connects a pipe of internal diameter 20 centimeters from a canal into a cylindrical tank in her field, which is 10 meters in diameter and 2 meters deep. If water flows through the pipe at the rate of 3 km per hour, in how much time will the tank be filled? So here this cylindrical tank is filled with the water from this canal through this pipe. So here the pipe diameter is given that is 20 centimeters and rate of water flow in this pipe is 3 km per hour. And the tank height is that is uh, 2 meters deep. So this is 2 meters and diameter of the tank is 10 meters. This is diameter. So write the given values here. First, pipe diameter is 20 centimeters. Therefore, radius of the pipe R1 is equal to diameter by 2. That is 20 by 2, that is 10 centimeters. If you convert this in meters, then 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. That is 10 by 100 meters. And rate of water flow through this pipe, that is 3 kilometer per hour. And here we have to find the time taken to fill this tank. So uh, that is, uh, we know that rate is equal to distance by time. So time is equal to distance by rate. So time taken to fill the tank in hours, this is in hours. So in hours is equal to distance by rate. So by using this formula, we can find the time taken to fill the tank. And uh, here, let the length of the water flow from the pipe. So here you have to find the length of the water flow through this pipe. First, you have to find the length here. Assume that length B, H1. So diameter of the cylindrical tank, measurements of this cylindrical tank are also given. So diameter is 10 meters, radius C is R2 is 10 by 2, that is 5 meters. And height of the cylindrical tank is 2 meters. This is height. And uh, here, volume of the water flow from the pipe is equal to volume of the cylindrical tank. See here. Here, we have to find, to fill the cylindrical tank. So here you have to equal this volume is equal to volume of the water flow from this pipe. And here the length of the uh, water flow for this time is H1. So first to find the H1 value here. So volume of the cylindrical tank is equal to volume of the water flow from this pipe. So right here pi R1 square H1. This is also in the form of a cylinder. So pi R1 square H1 is equal to pi R2 square H2. So here you have to find H1 first. So H1 is equal to R2 square H2 by R1 square and R2 H2 are measurements of this cylindrical tank. So that is 5 meters. So 5 square into height is 2 by here R1 is, uh, this is the radius of this pipe that is 10 by 100. See here, this is 10 by 100. So 10 by 100 whole square. If you calculate this, then you will get 5,000 meters. That is 5 kilometers. So this is the length of water flow uh, in that time. So H1 is equal to 5 kilometers. And now find the time taken to fill the tank that is distance by rate. So here distance is, this is 5 kilometers. So 5 by rate is 3 kilometer per hour. So 5 by 3, this is in hours. If you convert this in 60 uh, minutes, then 5 by 3 into 60. Because 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 5 by 3 into 60, that is 100 minutes. Therefore, time taken to fill the tank is 100 minutes.